Hi, my name is Wendy Trombley, and I'm the building principal for Coloma Junior High. Hi, I'm Celeste White. I'm the school counselor here at the junior high. And today's video is just going to be a walkthrough of our building and kind of go over the important things that you need to know as an incoming sixth grader for our building. So there are a few things that are different at the junior high than from when you were in fifth grade in the intermediate. Some of those things are that we have six different classes and with a five minute passing time in between each class. We also have a structured RTI time, which happens after third hour most days. And instead of specials, you'll have electives. We'll also go over the bell schedules with lunchtime and the changes with recess. We don't have a traditional recess up here as sixth graders either, but you will have an opportunity to be involved in extracurricular activities and sports. So when you come into the junior high, every student has six classes. The classes that you'll have as a sixth grader, everyone will have English language arts, math, science, social studies. And you'll, your fifth class will be a combination of health and PE. And with that class, you'll do two weeks in health and then rotate and go to do two weeks in PE. And that will rotate throughout the year. For your sixth class, you had a choice. And when we came over and talked to you in your classes in the spring, you chose between band, choir, or an other elective. Band and choir are both year long electives that you'd stay in. And if you opted not to do either of those, then you will be um, put into other electives that will be determined by our master schedule. One of the things we do at the junior high to help make you successful being a student is we offer study hall, and that will be four days a week next year after school for about an hour. It's not required. There's no need to let somebody know. You just drop in, sign up for it, let us know. We'll take attendance. You'll have help if you need some help with some homework or some extra work, or you need just a little bit of guidance in your classes, and that's something we can help you do every Monday through Thursday after school. One of the other parts that makes you successful here at the junior high and being a student that plays a big role is just being at school. So our attendance is very necessary and it helps you become a better student in the long run. So regular attendance is crucial for you to be academically successful. In order to support the students, we have established the following expectations for all of our students here. Um, credit may be lost after your 10th absence of school um, in one semester. So our semesters basically split our year in half. The documentation is necessary for excused absences, and that would be if you had a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment or any other kind of appointment that is set ahead of time. At the junior high, we like to focus on the positives. So we have a positive behavior incentive system, very similar to what you had at the intermediate. And we follow the CARE acronym, come prepared, always responsible, respectful, and exceptionally safe. And when you come into our building, we're gonna go through what that looks like in all of our spaces, including the cafeteria, the hallways, the classroom, locker rooms, gym, and restrooms. We expect comments to care and show those behaviors throughout our building. And we reward those behaviors with care tickets that you'll be able to earn in exchange for different activities and prizes in our care closet. So some of the questions we get in regards to back to school are what do I need to buy and what can my kids wear to school? My suggestion in terms of what kids need in terms of supplies for school, we highly recommend the large trapper keepers or large binders that kids can have a holder for each of their six classes inside that they can carry. Um, they'll be carrying that with a Chromebook each day. And it's just an easy way to keep them organized at least when they start off in the junior high. Also, in terms of dress code, our motto is just let's be reasonable. We ask that all the body parts are covered. Keep in mind our building is air conditioned, so it tends to be chilly. We just ask that shorts are at a reasonable length and that tops cover everything. In terms of tank tops, we just ask that the straps are a little bit thicker and they're cut close under the arms. Um, nothing with inappropriate sayings and hats and sunglasses are reserved for dress up days. Hi, it's Mr. Mars. I'm popping into the video for a second. I just want to talk about Chromebooks. So most of you probably know me from being your principal for six weeks, but maybe you know me from the Camp Chromebook videos. I'm the Chromebook specialist in the district. So one of the things that you get in sixth grade is you get your own Chromebook that you get to take home every day.
And it's your responsibility to take care of that device, to charge that device, and bring it ready to help you learn during school. One option that is available for families is insurance for the device. With being able to take it to and from school and being in possession of it all the time, we do offer accidental damage insurance for families so that they can pay one flat fee that will cover the cost of accidental damage. So Chromebooks will be there. We'll do some more Camp Chromebook stuff this fall. Can't wait to see you guys. One of the exciting benefits of being at the junior high is you get to participate in extracurricular activities. So at the junior high level, we, we typically are able to have two to three dances a year. We have some field trips and sometimes some class trips as well. We have some clubs that include robotics, art club, and some things like that as well. So at the junior high level, you'll be able to participate in sports. Each season has a variety of sports that you can choose from, and we encourage you to, to participate in those. Keep in mind, you're a student athlete when you participate in sports, so that student part comes first. You must be successful in your classes and passing your classes in order to participate, and you also need a physical on file. So if you're thinking you want to participate on, in sports in the fall, make sure this summer you get that sports physical and get it on file here with us in the office. One of the other things that may be a little different here at the junior high as opposed to your school now is our food um, service and our cafeteria or lunchroom. So every student here gets free breakfast and lunch. Our breakfast here we do during second hour at the beginning of your second hour class as opposed to the very beginning of the morning. Um, again, this is free. Students don't have to pay for breakfast. And then lunch is the same. It's free. You will have a student account if you would like to put money on it later. We'll cover that with you guys when you get here. Um, the student lunches are different every day and we have multiple options to choose from. So we hope that excites you. So one of the questions we always get is, I'm going to be really worried or nervous coming to the junior high. It's totally normal to be worried and you'll have plenty of people here to help guide you through those worries and fears when you get here.